I've worked in the restaurant fast food industry for 10 years now, a total of nine restaurants. In my last uh, job, I was initially hired as a cashier and then demanded and expected to complete the responsibilities of a cook, a dishwasher, and a prep person all by myself and still maintain the minimum wage. It was started at 8.50 when I was working. Sometimes I would work up to 12 hours with no shift, no breaks between my shifts and alone, having to serve the customer, make their food, cash them out, wash the dishes, and come back to make another order. I, had, I was so busy doing all those things, I had, didn't even have time to go to the restroom sometimes, in eight hours, 10 hours, as stated in this report. Many times I would end up working two to three hours overtime to do silverware, wash dishes, take out the trash, and prep the area for the next employee. And I would never get paid my entire overtime. Sometimes I would get paid as little as 30 minutes of the time that I had worked. I was never paid when I was sick, of course, like it states in this study, and I've experienced every single issue addressed and emphasized in this study. In the contrary, after not being paid for sick time, I would have to pay money out of my pocket when the, there was a registered shortage or I had broken something by accident while trying to do multiple jobs. And in many times, if there was a silverware shortage because we had accidentally thrown them away while trying to go fast, we would have to pay that. And it would be $8 out of our pocket, one hour of work. Many of us and many empl employees uh, put up with these conditions because we need a paycheck, because we have a family. We don't say anything because we're afraid that we're going to lose our job. They don't tell you directly, but they say it. You know, if, you, if you're not going to do the job, someone else is going to do the job. So you're afraid to speak up even when you know that you're being exploited. Uh, and we need that paycheck. However, it's dehumanizing and insulting when you get the paycheck and it's not even enough to buy a decent standard of living for yourself or even when you have children or if you want to help my mom, for instance, that I have to help, how are we going to support each other with a paycheck of $9 an hour and I'm working 15 hours a day? And today, I'm still in the food industry. However, now I'm my own boss because I know that I'm not going to explode myself or exploit anybody else in the conditions that I have to work for 10 years. Thank you.